Hey yo, shout out to Insomniac Magazine. This is Buckshot, the BDI I represent Duck Down, and I'm gonna let you know, yo, Israel, real talk. You're the first individual, man. Insomniac is the first that put me on the cover. The first magazine that Buckshot was on the cover. I got it in my crib, in my room, over my bed. Make sure y'all support the Insomniac movement. If you go back, hip hop is not dead, it's still alive. What? Talk to me a little bit about what you feel the the key to success, man. I mean, you're one of the few survivors that have been able to last, you know, from the 90s and still be significant, still mean something to fans, still do shows globally. And really, the beautiful thing is you did it without the major labels. Yeah. Talk to me about that. So I'm somebody who represents doing your own thing. I, I came out in 1992 who got the props. Uh, I was on an independent label and... Um, I started my own independent label. I started a management company early. Duck Down Records started in 1995. It's our 15-year anniversary, so we out just celebrating 15 years of being able to still put out records and get to the people and give them hip-hop that, that they like. As far as we have our own style, you know, every, every uh, entity has a place and every place has a moment. You know, we, we make the type of music in hip hop that you might be riding at nighttime, 12 o'clock, going down the highway and want to hear some of our music. And you may go to the club and want to hear some, you know, ludicrous or some, or, you know, some, you know, uh, booty popping music, whatever. I mean, everybody got their own style. I respect everybody in music. I just stick to what I do, which is the independent movement, doing what you want, when you want, how you want, where you want, you know what I mean? The way you want. That's, that's my ethic. That's Buckshot's. You know, that's what I wrote. That's how I rock. There have been a lot of independent labels, man, that have gone by the wayside throughout the last 20 years uh, since you've been in the game. So what do you think it is on the business side, not, not just the talent, but the business that keeps you guys doing what you're doing, keep you afloat, keep you in business? I think first and foremost, what keeps me in the business on the business side is that 50% um, of Buckshot is business, 50% of him is creativity. That's why, that's where you get the word buck from. You know, buck is two 50 cent pieces that come together. I started out as an intern, and as I was interning, I always was into music. I always was a, as, was a creator when it comes to making rhymes and beats. So, um, for the most part, I would just say that uh, what you really need to survive and to be successful in this business is the knowledge. I got a book that's coming out called The Common Knowledge of the Music Industry. You'll be able to know what an MC is, how to survive in the music industry, what is radio, what is a retail rep, what is co-op, what is a one sheet. All these things is important for you to know uh, the technical side of the business. And if you know that, you get a little further with your creativity. I teach people the fundamentals of what the crossovers are. As in a basketball game, you may know how to do a move, but if a coach come and tell you that a crossover is two lefts and a right and step back two paces, you'll know what that is. You'll be able to do it each and every time. You won't guess it anymore. Well, I don't guess my way through the industry. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do it. So instead of people, you know, guessing their way, I give people the answers and say, now the talent is up to you. You got the information and knowledge. Now it's on you. You know what I mean? I can give you the knowledge, but that don't mean that you're going to get there. But without the knowledge, you're definitely not getting there. Give me one secret to your success? The secret to my success is I study. I study everything all day, not all day, but I study yeah, all day, every day. Whether it's a verbal form of studying, a mental form of studying, I tell people this, when you see me, if I'm the only time you see me not doing something is if you see me plotting on doing something. So you'll never not see me not doing something, dog. So the real talk is the secret to success is to study. I study Rock Him. I study Karis One. I study the, the the Hitman music industry book. I study the the the, the music industry itself book. I study uh, under Hank Shockley. I study Chris Lighty. I study Russell Simmons. I study Jay Z. I study Lil Wayne. I study Mac Miller. I study Wiz Khalifa. I study all the past, present, and future. Bottom line is, if you don't study, you can't get this right. Nobody can get anything right unless you study. Study makes practice, practice makes perfect. You understand me? And that is the key to success in a nutshell, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I got a whole bunch of things popping up, but the, for the most part, definitely go out and support the book. My goal, my goal is to get you the product that you need that's gonna get you to where you need to be at. And with that, if you give me a big up, I'm already good. So I'm not, I'm not, that's, that is my riches. My riches is acknowledgement because when you leave here, you leave here with nothing but your acknowledgements. Believe me, you can't take none of this with you. So, 
You know what I mean? For the future, duckdown.com. Go check us out. Farrell Marsh New Project, Smith & Wesson, Mount Monumental New Project. Go out and support these projects. Sky Zoo, Mike Tyson, Sean Price. Just make sure that y'all support the movement because without y'all, it's just a still rock. Let's keep it going. Yo, what up, this is Sean Price. This is Insomniac Magazine, man. Trust me. One of the best magazines, man. You know, if not the best, one of the best, man. I think I was one of the first magazines to have me on the cover of anything, really. So, salute that. Bird.